What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here, honey, to talk about what's going on on the blogs. I sponsored the, yes. sponsor the blog. Now I sponsored the blog. What's going on on the blogs? Okay, it says. All right, let's listen. It says LA City Council President Nuri Martinez resigns after audio leaked of her calling calling a colleague's black adopted child a little monkey in Spanish. I know everybody has heard about these people who got caught on recording with the audio talking shit about black and indigenous people. That's why that B-I-P-O-C, that don't go. Don't nobody want to be grouped up with people of color. Just because y'all want to group everybody together who is not white, right? Who is not being marginalized and colonized by these motherfucking white people. We don't want to be grouped in with people of color because people of color is anti-black. Low-key indigenous people be anti-black and high-key black people be anti-black. But the truth is, don't nobody want to be grouped in with people of color because they be anti-black. They don't like black people. You over there with the blacks. You over there with the blacks. Laughing and calling kids monkeys and shit. So, talking about indigenous people, calling them little brown people and saying over there in Koreatown, talking shit about them. You, th that is the reason why, yeah, they all need to resign. But guess what? They're not the only ones who think like that. They're not the only ones who think like that. And that is the reason why black people specifically do not want to be grouped in with the term people of color because people of color don't fuck with black people. That's why so many people were conflicted with the stop Asian hate because Asian people be anti-black. Every people come into this country and they learn and they understand and they have this idea and they start assimilating to the illusion of white supremacy. And then they want to be just like, so, so in to be in proximity with whiteness, I have to be anti-black. And they come in here with the same fucking weird ass ideologies about black people and they apply it in their life. That's why so many people do not want to be, so many black people don't want to be so many people who identify as black do not want to be grouped in with B-I-P-O-C for this reason right here. And this, they're not the only ones. And what's weird is it, it's the same thing. And it's so, what's so crazy, it's, it, when I tell you it's fucking crazy, what's so crazy is they, they're anti-black. They're anti-black to black Americans, black people, anybody black, because they don't know who's who's who and who's what. They don't know who's foundational, who came from the continent, who came from the island. They don't know you black. What's crazy about it, they're anti-black to black people. And then within their Latin community, they're anti-black, right? Because the lighter Latin people get preferential treatment and the darker Latin people get called monkeys and shit like that. That's the, that is the cancer of the illusion of white supremacy because it infects everybody. It infects everybody. This Latin lady probably calls her darker skin relatives all kind of names. So you don't like nothing dark. You don't like the blacks. You don't like shit. That's why, again, I will say, that's why pe black people do not want to be grouped in with people of color. And at the end of the day, your Latin ass, your Mexican ass in a white political office, they talking about your Mexican ass the same fucking way you talking about black people. That's the gag. 
That's the gag. And when they come to you, then you want to look to black people to help you. Don't you understand? You understand what it's like to be discriminated against. So we need your help. Yeah. Mm Mm-mm. Nuri Martinez. Yeah, here we go. Let's listen to her. Black kids who speak misbehave. Este niño has no instinct. They're not Bounce doing that. Yeah, no. They're not doing The kid is bouncing off the effing wall on the floor. The pastor is tipping it over. There's nothing I can do to control him. I get my people. And I'm just like, oh my God. All the, you know, folks like where that's going. He did call me. He wants to have breakfast with me. Um, what is that him for? I, I just said, hey, we need to talk. He just supported him from the... All right, don't worry, I got him. Um, uh, so you'll start seeing him line up. He's with the blacks. He's with the blacks. He's with the blacks. He sounds like she's in some fucking jail somewhere. You know how they got him, how they got him separated in the goddamn general population? He's over there with the blacks. So much vitriol in her voice, so much disgust and disdain. But cross town over there is some a group of white people talking about your raggedy ass, calling you all kind of shit. Yeah, across town they're talking about you, mama. Cock sucking ass bitch. You need to resign, step down, no pension or nothing. But the gag is she ain't the only one. She ain't the only one. He over there with the blacks. That's the one. That's the part that got me. The blacks. He over there with the blacks. But then when the whites start wearing your asses out, who y'all? Ooh, the blacks. We need the blacks. Don't y'all know? Y'all know what it feels like to be beat up by white people. Come help us. Raggedy bitch. <laughs> Shit. He put out a tweet, and he said the biggest difference between Nicki Minaj and Little Kim. Okay, let's let's it says Young Jock should suggest that people come for Little Kim because she doesn't have men like Diddy and Biggie standing up for her anymore. Girl, shut up. Y'all really want to feel like men are a gateway or a protector of somebody. Girl, shut up. This is your last ditch effort to make it seem like somebody needs a goddamn man to protect them. Little Kim has never, Little Kim went to jail over some the shit. Girl, let me, let me, I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to listen to that. Let me go, let me go over here. Who else? Who else we talking about? Girl. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Where's the Jasmine brand? Let's go to the Jasmine brand. I, I just started this video. I haven't even introduced nothing. I've been talking for eight minutes. Hey, y'all, it's me, Erica. What's up? <laughs> Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know you stop by. Because I stopped one video and started another video. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Exclusive, Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill are separated and have filed for divorce, says source. Cynthia Bailey and her um, husband, Mike Hill, have split, according to a source. Sources tell us that Bravo reality star and sports anchor have been separated for a while now and that everything between the pair is amicable. We're also told that they have filed for divorce. The source tell us they really do love each other. It wasn't in anything scandalous uh, or anyone at fault. It just didn't work out. Somebody said, I'm not saying anything. I mean, well, you know, listen, the Yelp reviews were out about Mike Hill. Mike Hill put his own fucking review book out to tell you how he is a serial cheater. He's the person, somebody who's unable to commit to one person. So I don't understand. I Nobody understood why Cynthia entered a relationship with this man and he was who he was. Um. I remember when Cynthia, it was a scene with Cynthia and Mike driving somewhere and she said, what is it about me? What is it about me that's different from all the other women? And I feel like that's a wrong question because that gives you 
the impression that you have what it takes to change this person. And you don't. I'm sorry, ladies. None of you have what it takes to change a man. None of you. (laughs) I'm sorry to inform you. Nothing you do, you can't, you, nothing you do, your recipes, your pussy, your ability to fold clothes, none of, nothing you can do, nothing you will do to change a man, especially if he's a man who is unable to be in a monogamous relationship. He is unable to commit to one person. And this is what I say. I don't, I think men love the, the taboo about cheating. Now I'm not saying that Mike cheated, but what I'm saying is you shouldn't, she shouldn't have even been in the relationship in the first place. She shouldn't have been getting married to someone who was unable to commit to every single person before him. He is a man who deserves to be in an open relationship with a woman who moves exactly like him. That goes for any man who is unable to commit. They don't like to do that because being deceptive in relationships and sneaking around, it gives a boost to the ego. Like they're getting over on somebody. So it gives them a little boost to the ego. But in real life, these men should not be in monogamous relationships. Open monogamous relationships is what I'm calling them from now on, where the man is open and you remain monogamous like a fool. But. She asked him, what is it about me that's different? And that's not how it works. What is it about you that's different than the relationships you were in before? Because if you're no different and the only thing that changes are the patrons, you are going to get the same service, right? The restaurant has not changed management. You've walked into a restaurant where the Yelp reviews were out. He even gave his own Yelp reviews. That's the crazy part. He told y'all, I am a person who cannot do this and cannot do this. And I'm so glad that Cynthia didn't sell Lake Bailey. That's the one thing I said, if you marry this man and you see all of the compromises, she was kind of grappling. I also think, I also think that Cynthia wants a partner, but she doesn't necessarily want to be married. I think she is a free woman. I think she's a free woman who wants to be in a relationship, but wants to be free and not have to make or modify her life too much in any way. She's an older woman. She's like 54 or something like that. You don't jump into a relationship with a a known cheater and then he lives in one area. You live in one area. You thinking about selling your property on a lake for a man? Never, ever should that be a compromise. Never change your, listen, girl, (laughs) that's never a compromise to sell your assets for a man. That's nothing that you show how you love. That's not, that's not, there's no, nothing to prove, nothing to prove, (laughs) nothing to prove by getting rid of your assets for a man. No, 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 no. I'm really on y'all about changing your last. That's my next mission to get y'all to stop changing your last names. Cause that don't even, what is that about? What is that for? What is that for? Changing your last name. What is that for? Tell me, you get somebody get in the comments. Now I'm not, listen, this is, I'm not insulting you for taking your husband's last name. I'm not because that is the tradition. That is the culture everywhere in this kind of atmosphere. There are groups of people who get married and nobody's name changes. There is no change in ownership. None of that. We just come together as a married couple. Nothing is changing. Nobody's names need to be changed. What is the purpose of that? Right? Okay. Especially the woman. Right? So when the children come out, then you can make your decisions like that. So I'm not insulting anybody because it's culture, it's tradition. You can't, that's it. So I'm not insulting you, but I want you to tell me what is the purpose of you marrying a man and changing your last name to his? 
Somebody in the comments tell me, what is the purpose of that? Okay, thank you. All right. So Cynthia, I'm happy that you are free. I'm happy that you made a decision. You chose yourself. Mike chose himself. You guys are now getting a divorce. We are so glad that divorce is an option. And then, but, but, but if you watch the, the relationship, all the things, that's what I was talking about, all the things that she was willing to compromise or thinking about compromising for a, not only just, not just any man, but a man who has proven his, 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 his the reports are out there. The reports are out there. The reports are out there. So, Cynthia, good luck to you. That's all I got to say. Baby, Candace Owens leaks disturbing audio. It was not disturbing, not to me, of Kim Kardashian allegedly referring to Whitney Houston as a disgusting old hag and an angry voicemail to Ray J. So here we go with Ray J releasing something else about Kim Kardashian. The last time he released something on Kim Kardashian, it got flipped on his ass. And 20 years later, he's still on the internet crying about it. How he wanted to, you know, get back at the girl. Revenge porn. And it didn't work out in his favor. And now he's only getting the cut. And he don't like his portion of the cut. So here he goes, releasing something else of Kim saying, it's, (laughs) what did Kim say? It's, (laughs) it's not right. It's okay. I'm definitely going to make it anyway. (laughs) But she called Whitney an old hag. You over there with that old, that old hag. You over there. Yeah, we don't want to talk about Ray J and his relationship with Whitney Houston. We don't want to talk about how he runs around with a little smirk on his face. And, and charming everybody when he's really another fucking goddamn terrorist. And you heard Kim. What was Kim saying? Like Candace Owens, she really thinks she's doing something. She has a hard on for the Kardashians. She really does. Her E.T. phone home looking ass. You really have a hard on for the Kardashians. And she's another girl. You are a failed attempt at I don't whatever it is you trying to get to. I don't know. I don't even know. What is your mission, Candace Owens? Girl, you don't even it's like you're aimless too, girl. You aimless. You don't know. You trying to expose somebody. Girl, don't nobody. The the crazy part is you really think that you releasing audio on Kim Kardashian dragging the shit out of Whitney Houston because Ray J was in a relationship with her and whatever him and Kim were had going on, obviously Kim was not having it. Like, why are you over there with that old ass woman? She sound like anybody else who is mad that their ex-boyfriend is doing something with an old ass. Like, why are you over there with that? Like, like slow, 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 slow is over there trying to figure out. She don't understand how she's been calling people old and linebackers. And now this nigga is over there with a woman twice her age. She don't get it. She's over there confused too. That's what Kim Kardashian was given in this in this voicemail. You over there with that old head. But the gag is Candace Owens thinks that because Whitney Houston is so respected in her craft, in her artwork, that she's somehow revered as this patron saint that if somebody releases a tape on Kim Kardashian calling her an old hag and saying, it's not right, it's okay, I'm definitely going to make it anyway. Hello, and she has, okay? Um, okay? And you over there thinking that it's going to actually do something and that because Whitney Houston is so respected that an old-ass voicemail is going to what? Ignite the emotional reaction of black people. And it's not working. It's not. You are so slow. I want you and Kanye to get a new playbook. It's old. It's tired. The free thinker shit, people are really free thinkers and they're not really grasping onto your shit. And it really doesn't take a genius to manipulate sheep. So Candace Owens, you can you can phone home and call a friend because this is not working, dear. At all. 
Oh, let me say though, since we talked about um, Damon Wayans and Damon Wayans Jr. Um, starring in a father and son CBS comedy sitcom. Okay, that might be cute. That might be cute. Okay, let's see. Kim Kardashian reportedly hires additional security at children's school after Ye shared a name of the institution during his Instagram rant. Angie Martinez gets emotional while revealing her estranged father, whom she thought was dead, is alive well with a new family and wasn't openly receptive to connecting. God, he finds anybody. I was like, no, I said, well, I haven't seen well, I'm watching your story. Mm -hmm. And maybe like so a couple years ago, I was I interviewed Evelyn Lozada on my radio show. She had just been re reunited with her grandfather. Mm -hmm. She was like, Do you have anybody in your um family that you she's like, I have this guy, he finds anybody. I was like, No, I said, Well, I haven't seen my father since ten, but I believe he's passed. I've mm -hmm. heard from people that grew up in the neighborhood with him and he was uh you know, he was he had drunk problems. Mm -hmm. And so it made sense to me because I'd seen him in ten, he was on drugs, he must be dead, right? Yeah. She was like, well, wouldn't you like that all about it? Maybe, I don't know, two years ago? When did you, when were you, I feel like, I don't know, I watched you and I was like, I wonder if our paths were like aligned in the time. Yeah, I think they were. Or around the same time, right? That's why were. I felt when I watched you on hold, I felt so like, I, I was and watching it like a like this at the TV, like, oh, I'm trying to how pause beautiful it. beautiful and, and that he's, what you wanted him to say. And, Instagram. You y'all need a pause, a pause button. I know for some of the videos they have a pause. I don't know how long it has to be, but this thing where you could only mute, and every time you press it on the thing, you it, it mutes and then it unmutes and then it opens and then it you trying to mute it by pressing on it, but it opens it instead of muting it. Y'all need to get that shit together. Anyway, so Angie Martinez, I didn't want to play the whole thing because I don't know what the copyright thing on this thing is, but she basically says that she went to, um, the dad wasn't, he wasn't receptive to, um, being in a relationship with her. It says, here she goes. She says, I'm going to just read it. So he, so it says, um, I'm freaking out. I thought he was dead since I was 10. I'm now 40 something years old. There's a man that's my father and he's alive. I always had grace and compassion for him. I was like, he was on drugs. He had a problem. Martinez then reveals that her father wasn't open to getting to know her. So he called the wife knew nothing of my existence. She didn't even know he had a child. I'll just say he wasn't openly receptive to connecting. While discussing the heartbreaking experience, Angie Martinez became emotional and started to cry as Kelly Rowland showed sympathy. Ke Martinez says that the incident hardened her for a while and she didn't give people grace. It shifted something in me in a minute. For a minute, I started becoming super judgmental about people. All these years, I thought he was a drug addict and I felt bad for him. Yeah, y'all be given. Yeah, I mean, I think for I think for a lot of um people who don't have like their parents and they don't know who their parents are, you come up with an idea of who they could be, and so you have a, a you create a a person, an avatar in your mind of this person and how they would be or whatever. And like again, she's forty something years old crying about being rejected at 40 by her father and then y'all over here questioning 50 cent son talking about he this and he that and he that and you're like these people are being rejected by their by their fathers and that's a hurtful thing it's hurtful for the person that you come from to reject you and you you know how hurtful it is to look on television and to see somebody who looks just like you and them not acknowledge you like your dad is a public figure and y'all don't understand why this kid is down on the internet acting out no it, whatever like the the money and the oh, I'm asking for money and I'm in tight that's just acting out And it's like, you're making him suffer for whatever you had issues with the mom or whatever. Like, it's raggedy. And here's Angie Martinez, almost 50 damn years old, crying about her father rejecting her, who she had felt bad for him because she's like, oh, he was on drugs. So that's probably why he, no, that nigga moved on, got himself together and had a whole family and act like you didn't exist and then don't want to have nothing to do with you. And you're like, fuck, I shouldn't have even looked for that motherfucker because the idea that I had in my head was better than knowing the actual truth about this bitch. So sorry for Angie Martinez. That sucked, man. That does suck. And like I'm saying, it's like, y'all don't understand how people 
they still are dealing with things from childhood, dealing with wounds that they're healing. And you're talking about, oh, he's 25, da, 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 da. And y'all sitting on the internet and dealing with shit your parents and did to you. And somehow you just don't understand. Okay, let's see. Um, Nene Leakes gives update on son Brett's, Brett, Brett's condition. Call situation scary and said he's have, having trouble speaking and reveals she might sell her lounge. I don't even want to listen to this. This is really sad. I think, how old is Brent? 23 years old or something like that? I was talking to my friend the other day about, about Brent. And I was like, these they live lives like, like they don't care about nothing. If they're in survival mode. They don't eat right. All they're doing is, you know, drugs. Like not, not. It's like they're, they think they're living by doing all of these things and it's not living. You're like killing yourself faster. You're killing yourself faster. And then another thing is when you're, you know, you don't know what he's dealing with outside. His father just died, right? So you don't know on top of that, he could be stressed out. He could be dealing with grief. You know, you don't know how it comes. And we live in a society that we don't give boys to men room to deal with their emotions. And, and what's really crazy about that, I really feel that's the reason why men die so fast is because the, you haven't learned how to process emotions. So you do other things outside of yourself and you kill yourself faster and you leave this motherfucking earth faster than this. I think that's what it is. It's like, you don't take care of yourself. You don't go to the doctor. You're not doing none of this. You, you're not. And then you got, then you're like your social pressures, the way you, you live in society. You can't even access your emotions. You're told you're this, you're told you're that. So you do other things to, you know, feel drinking lean, smoking weed. Um, what other doing Coke, um, perks, Zannies, fucking um i heard somebody on the internet talking about oh it you know doing shrooms and having sex i'm like y'all is that's that's what you're doing like you're taking something that's that is supposed to expand you this way and all you worried about is what's going on in your genitalia like it's like the misuse and it's just like just living 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 like you think you're living but you're killing yourself real fast real fast on top of being in the being a public figure, your mother being a public figure, your father just dying. It's just like a lot. And that stuff catches up with you. 23 years old. 23 years old. That's really sad. It's really sad. I hope he gets his health together and figures out why he why he had a heart attack. You don't know. It could be anything. 23 years old. A heart attack and a stroke. So the heart is like damaged. I don't know. That's that's wild. I'm saying these they don't take care of themselves. They don't take care of themselves while they sitting over there talking about you gonna be alone. You gonna be alone. You gonna be alone. We looking like, but we healthy, thriving, living, right? Y'all know everything. Y'all the leaders and just dying one by one, just dropping dead. I was looking at Puffy the other day. I was like, oh, he looks, he don't look like he's living a soft life. He don't. He looks so hard in the face. I was looking at him like, I don't know if he's, is he aging well? I don't know what's going on with Puffy. I was looking at him like, oh, girl, I used to love me some Sean Combs, honey. And now I'm looking like you, you, you worm. I was looking at him the other day. I was just like, oh. He don't look good. Younger and young, 23 years old, a heart attack and a stroke. So again, while y'all out here playing man and doing all these things to keep from actually feeling and acknowledging and self-correcting and self-reflecting, you're just going out of here like a damn kamikaze, like that's how that's how you going out of here.
Damn. Eddie Murphy to pay Mel B $35,000 a month in child support. Court says he is an extraordinarily high earner. <laughs> pay up. According to reports, a legendary actor comedian has been ordered to pay singer Mel B. Brown $35,000 a month in child support. The original payment was $25,000 a month. Both entertainers agreed to the adjusted amount for their daughter, Angel Iris Murphy Brown. I know that's right. You better put your name in it because I, I have just as much clown a fucking spice girl. Put your name in her name too and add the Murphy because that's when you add a nigga's last name. Okay. When he is an extraordinarily high earner. Okay. The name, the, the, the name has legacy. The name has clout. The name rings bell. So yes, you could put Murphy in there, but don't forget your name too. Spice girl. Okay. Um, the parties agree to th that the respondent in is an extraordinarily high earner. The amount of child support set forth here and below has been calculated best on based on a reasonable needs for the minor child. Child support shall be payable be via wire transfer and shall be due on the first calendar day of each month. I know that's right. And y'all over there, who, who was complaining about $6,500 a month? Um... At, um, 50 cents kid and this 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 $35,000 a month is that too much for y'all <laughs> this will continue until the child turns 18 she's 15 years old now okay oh somebody got on stage with with Meg they took him off a white man get off he shouldn't have got that close the security came and got him. He got close to Megan. He touched her. He shouldn't have got that close. He should not have got that close. Okay, let's see. Kourtney Kardashian reveals she's no longer as close to Sister Chloe as she once was. I think just life isn't the same. Yeah, you over there being a dumbass for some nigga over and over and over again. I cannot get down with that. That doesn't align with my frequencies, honey. You over there going through it willingly and willfully over some fucking Ooh. No, girl, we're not in community while you continue to hang on for Tristan Thompson, girl. What else is going on? I got to go. I'm going now. I got to go. <laughs> Let's see. No, nope, nothing else. Angie Martinez, we already talked about. Did I say that? Yeah, we already talked about Angie Martinez. Sade working on a new album for the first time in over 10 years. Shout out to Sade. Um, let's I think that's it, y'all. I'm done talking. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.